We did it. Season's over. It's over. This is the last episode of season four. It only took us four years, but we're done with season four. And yep. we were going to have a cold open sketch. And then everyone being half of the people that were going to do it <laughs> said, oh, never mind, I can't. And, and don't mind, the one person with arguably the busiest schedule has showed up. Yes, the one man who has to leave in 30 minutes showed up. And <laughs> now here we are recording a podcast earlier than we were going to because I had a goaded cold open sketch to do and yet we didn't do it. And had we been planning this for weeks? Yes. Are we the gulag? Yes. Is this our most monolithic fuck up also? Yes. Yes. But we're not sorry. <laughs> we're very Yeah, much. fuck you, viewer. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you don't get the awesome cold open thing that Serge has been planning <laughs> I don't know, a week and a half ago, maybe since the beginning of July. Yeah, fuck you, if you, are. you You don't need to see that. It's fine. It's fine. This is me also just... You're missing out on the most best cold open ever. The most best coolest. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <sighs> but we're here in our green screen shirts because it's funny. You're damn right. Um, we're here with a really, like, a better setup than before. We're not blinded by the lights. No. Uh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. We have a po- <laughs> we have a producer in the house. Producer, play some play some music to, to hype us up. Play play. Is some- that DJ Khaled? DJ Khaled is our producer. Oh my gosh, dude! How did you get him down here? Play, how, how did you get him down here? Did you some like DM him? Royalty free, like celebration music. Dude, let's go. I fucking love DJ. Go, go to the waffle. It's, uh, yeah, that works too. Here you go. Our producer's a six year old, uh, or either a six year old or our producer's a 70 year old teacher. Or DJ Khaled. Or D- it's DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Um, let me actually make sure this thing has volume. We have a TV this time. We're not looking at the projector, so we can actually see what's happening. Um, I have... I, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, we have topics. We actually have things to talk about. We actually have a... We had a... We, had a decent we have episode. a couple. I mean, he searches topics. I don't know what he wants to talk about. And Is it black? I got some. Let's get hyped. Hell yeah. All right. This rocks. We're back. This actually sucks. This is... <laughs> Play, play something else. Look up royalty free. Uh, look up royalty free celebration music. <laughs> Shit, dude, you may as well play the fucking happy birthday song. <laughs> happy birthday song is not royalty free. <laughs> Fuck. This sucks. Shit, isn't Taco Bell about to make uh, Taco Tuesday like uncopyrighted? Or is that already happening? Uncopyrighted? Yeah, because like Skip Taco Tuesday was like. Taken or some shit. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. I've not heard that. There's like copyright. This check. sucks. This is worse. Wow, thanks a lot, producer. Yeah. Yo, what the hell, dude? Fucking fuck you, DJ Khaled. We, uh, we hate the viewer, we love the editor, and we are trying to figure out how we feel about the producer. Yeah, so far, I don't know if I like DJ Khaled or the six year old or the 70 year old man. It could be either of those three, but I, I don't know. I have mixed opinions over here. This sucks too. Go to the next one. I want to get us hyped and then we can start talking. Even though we've been talking. What the fuck? Is that? What kind of pasta That's is penne. that? Do you know? What is that? Is that right? What is this? Uh, do the next one? Skip the middle. Mm-hmm. It's gonna suck. Watch. This all is ass! Oh my god! Oh my god, this sucks! (laughs) 
Go, go, just, just play Silicon. Dude, it's, ba- it's background with birthday music ambulance. Right. Ambulance? Is, what did it say? Am- ambience. Is this what the background of Celebration sounds like? Maybe this, maybe this TV just has bad audio. All right, Gulag Podcast. Here we are. It's uh, the end of an era. So get a little housekeeping out of the way. We came before Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Warzone. The name Gulag was our own idea. Now. We thought of separately to that. Of course. Um, we're gonna be next episode. It's not gonna be season five, episode one, like you might want it to be. It's gonna be nope. Season no, season nothing. It's just gonna be episode forty-one because um, we've done forty-one episodes. Uh, we're doing away with seasons just because it's holding us back, like for just plenty of reasons. And you can you can understand how ten episodes a season isn't a good idea. It wasn't our best idea, but I guess I kind of took charge and gave us a bad idea, and then we slowly just have never recorded. Um, but we're, we're all moving. Um, everyone's going off to college, part two. Um, True. But this time the podcast should be more doable for college because I'll be in person. I'll be living with Steven and Breck. Um, <laughs> so we should be able to do it. Mm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping still the same amount. Um, I mean, hopefully. It just depends on your schedule, if anything. Because yeah. you'll be living with the two goons that never <laughs> show up. So. Well, I mean, if I'm living with them, I figure we just... We don't even have to do it on a specific day as long as it's coming out on the same day. We can just do it whenever you're free, honestly, because yeah. you'll know. And we can record three in one day and whatever. I, I don't mind having a... It'll be better. Maybe you can do vlogs now? That possible idea? Lots of potential ideas. It'll it'll all be better. Um, hopefully, if there's another sketch to be shot, we can do that. We and have... In an ideal world, no monolithic fuck-ups now. But yes. yeah, that's an ideal world. So. I have everything perfectly, I think, set up now. This episode should be as good as it can be. Right. Um, you can fade this out. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I'll probably fade it out in the edit. But yeah, we're fine. <coughs> uh, we're doing great. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening, even though no one is. Shout out to my mom. She's probably listening. Shout out to the viewer. We all hate you. Yeah, you can fuck Got off. Got to do that. Yeah, you've been just ruining our lives. There's a reason why we fucking fucked up. So, epically. And it's because of you. It's of what you're wearing. Yep. Um, you're the reason. Uh, your face is ugly. And your face is my dick. But, uh, alright, here, go. I, I have some topics. I have some things I want to talk about. Because since the last... Actually, uh, hold up. Go to, go to our YouTube channel. I want to see what our last podcast update was. Or upload was. Because um, I think... Yeah, hit, hit pause on that because it's going to play loud. I think the last thing that... What was the last stuff we talked about? Me and Dusty talking about cars a month ago. Wow. Look at the exact date on it. Uh, hold on, scroll down. That was 6.13... Okay, yeah. Well, that's even that's over. Well, yeah. Two months ago. That's about two months ago because it's uh, August eighth that we're recording this now. Yep. Um. Yeah. Uh. Damn. A lot's happened. Uh, I think the writers' strike has progressed or whatnot since then. Yeah. What do you feel? How do you feel about that? Um. As a future. As a writer. That is the career I want to go into. I hope the strike goes on until Hollywood collapses, which is a crazy take but i think that's that what is wants. an insane take all right explain to me i am a six-year-old i don't know <laughs> what the fuck is going on explain um, it to me like you're my dad so uh since a long time ago okay uh writers who make tv shows mm-hmm. have not been getting paid for what they do so the tv sh- show will come out and it will be on let's say netflix or any other streaming service little baby boy like youtube like YouTube, nope, not like that at all. <laughs> but it'll be on Netflix or something, and then once it's out, they just get paid for what they wrote. They don't get paid every time someone watches it, which is called residuals. So same thing for actors. Actors get a lot of their money from residuals. Um, when movies or TV shows would come out on cable, like the network would have to pay them a certain amount every time the episode was played. Um, but now actors and writers are just getting paid for the initial work they did for it and then it'll get watched millions of times after it initially comes out and the only one who sees the money from that is the streaming platform so like people might get a netflix subscription to watch stranger things but the actors and writers of stranger things are not getting the money that netflix is getting for watching it every time someone watches that show so it's like 
if I were to release a video onto YouTube, I would only get paid for that initial release of the video. But then if I get a million views on that, I wouldn't get paid for any of those. Yes, views. that's um how it'll work. Damn, yeah, if it were on fucked. YouTube. But on YouTube, you do get paid for yeah, yeah. It's views and the complete or opposite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on Damn. streaming platforms, it, that is not at all how it works because they can definitely count how many people have watched whatever. What the fuck? That means uh, in Psych, actors. Yeah, they don't get paid for. Damn. I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, the amount of times I've watched this show, if it's anything like YouTube, no. I mean, I've given them a lot of money. Dave Chappelle talked about it in one of his specials. He was like, um, they just released uh, the Chappelle show on Netflix and I didn't get paid anything for it. And I was like, damn, that is, that's real. Or I was like, I, I didn't know that's how that worked. And then with the strike coming out, that's how we damn. find out it's all done. Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, got $27 million for his bonus. And mind you, that is all he got because Disney did bad. So he only got $27 million for how bad Disney did, like with their shows. If they would have done better, he would have gotten more. But because of, so that means... With failing shows, he still made millions, and yet the actors and writers didn't make anything. Oh, wow. Yeah, but then again, he's coming in after a horrible CEO of Disney. So, hopefully. But people are still, they're like wanting to, actors and writers but, yeah, are. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, they're going on strike, so they're not doing any work, so they're not getting paid. But also that means no new content is being made. Stuff is You're going to watch stuff come out. Stuff will come out for probably the next five years if the strike goes on for that long. But, um. Because, like, movies take forever. Like, they'll be out, and, you know, editors, are, they're not, like... So, if this strike goes on for, like, ten years after, the, like, yeah, if, a while, it'll start fading out. Yes. If the strike were to go on for about ten years, then you would see, like, about five years from now, stuff would stop coming out completely. Um, <sighs> and it would just be, like, like <laughs> pro- oh, executives of these, like, big uh, production companies think they can, like, use AI to make... Um, like it, with Secret War. Here, can you pull up the Secret War? Um, Dude, the fuck? Secret Invasion. Sorry, I keep on thinking of Secret War. Pull up the Secret Invasion um, intro. That's a thing, big companies. They think AI is like the future of filmmaking <laughs> with writing and I guess maybe somehow like <laughs> acting, but I think it's just with writing. Um, get the full one. Yeah, there, that, that second one. And then we'll just do no volume on this. Marvel Studios are you me? Yeah. So they're here mute it. They're the company that thinks they can do it. Do yeah. AI? So look look at all this. This is all completely AI generated. And this is this two minute thing plays at the beginning of every episode of Secret War. And what normally um here, like play um so you kinda get it. Like here skip skip through this a little bit so Matthew can see it. So like it's just like look how shitty it is because it's all AI generated images yeah, it's ai generated it's arguably worse than cgi because it looks like something yeah it's a, stupid it looks like it look you know what it looks like it's like take a comic book but then make it see more i guess cgi and kind of look popping i don't know but you know what i mean like take yeah. a comic book and make it better yeah but that's what it is it's not nearly as good as some of the movies that that were made in fuck the two two 2000s yeah. transformers is better than that yeah any, anything is, anything is better than that because it's just made with a computer probably it seriously probably took them a day to make that whole thing and they probably paid one person to do it i mean pro- realistically it probably had like a team of people but like fucking pull up hand the, drawings, um, hand the drawings. intro to uh last of us and like the comparison of the intro to like one show that just came out like last year and a show that just came out this year um last of us yeah opening credits for max so like look this is all done by humans this is all just like completely 3d animation like look how intricate and amazing this is this isn't the best quality tv but like in 4k this is masterful like this is beautiful and then they just like we're like okay we'll do the same thing with secret invasion but we'll just type in computer Jarvis, give me uh, Samuel L. Jackson looking uh, into the camera and also being green. Uh, and then give me that fading <laughs> into an eye and then make that into the earth. <laughs> and then this, you know, someone had to go in and like do the different mapping. And I don't, you know, I don't know how 3D animation works, but this is insane. And like, I'm sure whoever did this got paid, probably underpaid, but definitely got paid for their work. Whereas the other one, it was like, 
Yeah, we're just gonna let ChatGPT do all of the work for the fucking the Marvel show. Yeah, this is this works way better. Yeah, so that is the difference of put that into an AI generation and it looked like shit. Oh yeah, the, the an AI could never do that, and like that's Marvel really thought they ate with the Look, fucking AI, AI has its place, but in movie making for what they're trying to do yeah, with the no secret way. invasion, that's not its place at all. Yeah. And like, not at all. They want AIs to write scripts, AIs to do this. And I can't even, like, ChatGPT is reportedly, I, it can solve less than half of math equations people give it. Seriously? Yes, seriously. <laughs> but like, it's gotten worse at math um, over the years, or not even the years, over the months. Seriously? Um, is that just because people are teaching it shit math? Or I, I don't know what it is specifically, but I. How is it getting worse? I think it is people just like not knowing how to. Like, I think it just learns from human stupidity and it's like, oh, this is the right thing and just gives you wrong answers. Yeah, because I remember watching Instagram videos of people doing math equations and then like gaslighting the AI. Into oh, yeah, thinking yeah. It. You so is that whatever? Is that why you think? I think so. Oh, my gosh. People. <laughs> yeah, you can trick an AI. I can't believe so... that fucking. And then... So that's actually having effects yeah, on then, the AI. Like Bob Iger is like, this is the future. We're going to do this for all of our shows Dude. <laughs> when you can easily make the AI just like shitty. People can fucking make the ai dumb yes dude that's yes, horrible it's what the stupid. hell and then that's how they want to write tv shows and movies <laughs> i remember someone gaslighting the ai thinking that two plus two equals like fucking two yeah four, you you like can do five. anything to make it like and they're having that ai make movies yeah one of the original um <laughs> like ai they call it um i think hallucinating whenever it gives you a wrong answer one oh, of the shit. original ai hallucinations someone found was like if the first month of the year is January and the second month of the year is February, what would the next 10 months of the year be? And it was like January, February, Marchuary, Aprilary, Mayuary, and like so on. Because like you can just like give it patterns and it'll just pick up and keep doing that. That's I did allegedly okay. use that for some school assignments, but you probably can't you can't figure out which ones, though. Um, yeah, it's, too, it's too late to figure it out. But yeah. I, allegedly I did that and allegedly I got 100s on them, so supposedly if you did that <laughs> in the next five years your essay would be shit considering the fact people are making the ai dumber and also everyone checks for it now but um allegedly at the school i allegedly went to they allegedly didn't check and i allegedly got like a really good grade on my last couple assignments because i allegedly did that so no AI, ai sucks ai is um it's not, it's not gonna kill us but it's gonna ruin not even ruin society it's gonna i hope it ruins hollywood i hope <laughs> All the actors and writers get better jobs or just like live off the money they already have. And then TV producers. I would hope they have a fuck ton of money and didn't spend it all already. But then there's like the poor actors who were like just starting out or like C list actors or like people who just got into the industry and now they have to go back to like normal jobs. Like it sucks for them. But I hope it goes on and everyone doesn't work. And then we start seeing the worst movies and TV shows in the world. And then we'll all just laugh at the producers. And then Hollywood restarts. Honestly, this could affect the the entertainment industry. It's going to be fucked if you think about it. I I hope so, which is a terrible take. I just hope that people learn their lesson and start paying people the money they deserve. Yeah, that's true. Because they they have that the money. True. They can pay them. But yeah, that was the big thing that's happened since then is the writer's strike, which that's me explaining it for my mommy. Because anything we explain on this podcast is for my dumbass mommy who doesn't know anything. Is she the viewer? No, she doesn't even view. She's like four episodes behind. Oh, damn. Um, Still don't know who the viewer is. Fuck you, though. But yeah, that's uh, that's the writer's strike. What's up with you, Matthew? Well, I recently... I mean, the most recent big thing is the train museum. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell me about your job or your volunteering. So, uh, also, let's put the hoodies on so because we're going to look stupid this whole episode. <laughs> I think I think the bit is done of us of us looking like the green screen. So, anyways, me and uh Caitlin went on a train ride a couple days ago, and one of the I guess workers or volunteer people came up to us and he was talking to us and he asked if my company could come out wire a plug, and then one thing led to another, and then I was asking him about volunteer work and everything because I was like, damn, this would be a good he said this would be a good place to start if you want to become a train driver so yeah i was like shit sweet so then i asked him and then he led me to the president the president of the museum gave me a tour showed me the trains they're renovating the train cars and 
it was super cool and i was like damn i need to like fucking volunteer here signed up paid for it and everything that's and awesome my membership card that i got includes me and my family so that means that my family can come to the museum and they'll give them free train rides oh that's sick dude and i do too so when christmas comes around that's gonna be baller as fuck yeah that's awesome yeah yeah, yeah. i was gonna ask where this is but i guess we probably yeah say. yeah but yeah. that's cool is it close to where we are uh i mean is it a bit of a drive for me it's about 30 minutes to 25 minutes is it away north or south it's gonna be south towards oh, it's far from me towards i think i know um i don't know i'm thinking of somewhere i mean fucking bleep that out <laughs> um <laughs> i i think i don't think i know where you're talking about anymore Never um but anyways so yeah super sick and there's a diner car that i can that we're changing out uh fluorescent light bulbs and the leds which is right up me out al- my alley right up me alley it's right, right, up- it's right up me alley <laughs> it's right up me alley and so um fuck you <laughs> I, almost, I almost went irish or whatever the fuck that was for a second pirate yeah pirate but anyways right up my alley and so i'm gonna be fucking wiring all kinds of shit on the diner car dude that's awesome they have this 1950s diner car it looked sick as fuck and a whole fucking kitchen in and it, it has a whites only section uh and that's why you're so excited about nope, it nope nope that was well it was in the 50s, so it was before the 60s riots in Birmingham and before MLK. So it had a whites only section. Yes, it did. No blacks And you were like, thank God, these are my people. This is where I can, <laughs> I'm safe here. And you sat down and you're like, whoo, I'm stimming. This is a cuteness overload. I'm just using all the buzzwords that all the kids are saying nowadays because we missed a lot. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's so, exactly, yeah, yeah. You, uh, yeah. yeah, you're happy you're in your segregation train. Yeah, my you're segregation your... train. I can segregate once again. You're on the toxic gossip train, rolling down the tracks to segregation station. That's a little. Re- that's a that's a shallow cut that for you was... guys. That's a shallow. You, if you don't, did you know... just come up with that? There's no way. <laughs> for my mom, who doesn't know what I just referenced, I referenced this this YouTuber lady who sang a song about um not molesting kids. Whenever did she, she... say that? Yeah, she was like, I never the song watched was the called video. Toxic Gossip Train, and she was like, rolling down the tracks to Manipulation Station. Um, God, we're not going to play the video. Just, you can look it up on your own. But yeah, mommy, some some lady groomed some children and sang a song about not grooming children. But yeah, oh, no, that, that's sick about the train. Um, is it like a, is it an Amtrak train or just like a different? Oh, hell no. A fucking Amtrak is like. I don't know these things. Disgusting. Oh, you idiot. It's not Amtrak. <laughs> okay, but come on. Is Amtrak look good to you at all? It's, it's nice. I've ridden on Amtrak many times. I love me an Amtrak. You don't think it's bland? It's bland, but like I don't know what okay, other, okay. I don't know what to compare it to. I mean, it's nah, like that's fair. That's comparing. Fair. I mean, th- really, I the only like thing I could ask you is if it was if you think it's bland. I mean, I'm is... sure it, it's like comparing city bus to another type of bus. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know another bus brand. Yeah, that's fair. Well, anyways, um, no, it's like think like old cars like i don't know think designs look up um old design yeah just look old um, old 50s diner train car yeah you think she could look it up faster good lord <laughs> no i'm kidding um all right old 50s diner train car yeah go to, go to the ones with the interior is it look like this? No, it's a bit goofy. Yeah, but you kind of get the idea. It looks goofy. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Go to that one right above. Yeah, that one right there. Think. Can you something like, like that? That's pinch, a good pinch idea. And zoom. That's cool. Yeah, think if something like that's cool. That. Yeah, that's pretty neat. No, that's awesome, dude. Um, but instead, the kitchen would be. You wouldn't be able to see the kitchen or yeah, the people yeah, yeah. cooking. And instead of a bar, it would be it's like. like booths yeah booths with tables and shit that's cool it does so this train like runs it like drives it rolls around yeah it's i mean it's only going to be on like a six mile track so not yeah, that long that's cool yeah that's all that might be something i want to go to but yeah and so we're renovating it the fucking electrical panel is something i've never seen before it's not your typical house it's one. a it's a fun challenge for you oh it's 
It's industrial. It's got big oh, old fucking industrial. wires. Big old fucking wires. Really? That's I'm cool. going to have a hell of a time doing my electrical task. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, Hopefully the imposter doesn't kill me while I'm in the dark, spooky train. <sighs> yep. He's doing tasks, everyone. <laughs> That's an Among Us reference for those of you who don't know. <laughs> oh, and for the audio listener, um, which I just realized the audio listener... If you haven't been, if you needed to just think, okay, for the audio listener, think train car, so Amtrak, like rectangular room Mm -hmm. with like a very old, like, just think like old house 50s design. All right. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, think like a 50s diner, but put into a train car and long. Uh, You have an imagination. Pretty much. Like, think Waffle House, but more old. Yeah. Without the black and yellow. Just and if you're listening to this podcast and you're not aware that we have a video on both Spotify and YouTube, then check out our video on Spotify and YouTube where you can watch everything that we're doing. But unsubscribe. YouTube is free. YouTube is free. Um, and Spotify is free. You can also rate us five stars on Spotify. That would be really helpful if you did. Um, also, Matthew, it is 630. I don't know when you have when you, when you got to go, but. All right. Yeah, probably. Probably soon. We, we can get, we can do a little outro. Yeah, yeah. a little outro. So, um. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll be back. Um, we'll be back with definitely, definitely me, Stephen and Breck. Um, very often we'll be on the podcast. Uh, hopefully we'll get the, the fellas back on. We'll get Matthew and Dusty and Tal and um, whomever. Uh, hopefully back soon for episodes because um, then we'll be living near us. So it'll just, I mean, maybe they'll call in. We'll see. Uh, next season, I we would love it if we had another video out next week. You know, you know us. Uh, we probably won't for like a few weeks, but we'll also have just moved in. Like, we're moving into our new apartment in three days, yeah. so um, life's getting changing and hectic. But uh, big changes coming soon. Podcast is going to be nothing you've ever seen before. What was that thing? Twenty nineteen big chungus. Twenty twenty big changes. Yeah, he remembered. He did it. How he did it. All right, uh, that was after, that was a short break from the podcast, but we're back. Um, I'm here with Matthew. Matthew came back. Um, I'm back, guys. It's been a few hours later. Yeah, but to pick up where I left off, yeah. I had never seen any of the like electrical fixings that this train had. It was like completely new to me. So I think yeah. me and my company we're gonna have, like it. We're gonna spend a lot of time there, but hopefully, you know. Maybe that'll count as volunteer work, and I'll get paid. Who knows? Yeah, so I'm super excited about it. You should, you should go check. No, out that's that train. definitely really cool. Um, so I don't know. So that's what's going on new with you since the last month. What's been happening? Because I think that's a pretty recent thing. So tell me about yourself for the last month, Matthew. So me, Matthew, I've been no, no Matthew. And There's we're gonna too bleep, many we're gonna bleep both of those out <laughs> no. because we're not allowed to say last names, which you should know. We can't say last names. Uh, isn't no. like personal preference. Like, if you wanted your last name out there, oh, I guess you okay, just don't. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'll just leave yours in. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know. Yeah, all right, so <laughs> you should know this. You've been doing this podcast for literally I do years. know this. I was just testing to see if you knew it, so I said last names to make sure that you, you know, this were still on your podcast game. This is the smartest you've ever sounded, Matthew. You've never sounded this smart. I know, life. I normally sound so much dumber than this. <laughs> and, you know, I, I really think that Matthew's great, and I I think I'm great. I don't have any yeah, like, animosity you, towards him do you think america's think great or do you think it should become great again i think we need to keep america great you know oh yeah yeah so who are you voting for i mean <laughs> hmm. so how much money do you make a year <laughs> i matthew make you know at least a dollar a day That's maybe crazy. two That's maybe crazy. two if it's busy if a lot of if the power goes out for a lot of people i'll be making big. yeah and where do you work um, and what's your address? My and what's your do last you want my name? social security number? I'll and, start with that yeah, one. Yeah. I don't know the rest of it. My mommy knows that I don't. Do you know your real social or er, unstupid for a second? No, I don't. You don't know your. There's so many times where I'll like go somewhere and they'll be like, "What's your social security number?" Like a place where I should know it, and I'll be like, mm, "Let me call my dad." No, I don't know it. And he like got onto me one time. He was like, "You need to know this." Like he. Like every day no, would be like, that bad. well, I don't know. Well, I, anyway, sorry. He like every day would be like, all right, Madison, what's your social security number? And he'd like make me say it to him. I don't know it. I could probably <laughs> tell you the first four digits and that might be accurate. But anything past that, I don't even know how many numbers are in a social security number. 
Is this a dumb white girl moment? I don't think so. There's no... It's nine, I think. I don't know. This is mm-hmm. like, do you know your license plate? No. No. Okay. But I have a picture of it on my phone in case I... I also do. Yeah. So... Um, I had it first. So, this is Madison, for anyone who doesn't know. Hey, guys. Know, which we always have someone on here, and we're like, this is our friend. Guys, it's our friend. Guys, it's our friend. Um, I actually, this is my first time meeting you. Yeah, so hi, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. What's um, your name again? You, wow. Get a, get a close in on <laughs> She went for the handshake on just the tip. What's your name again? So, my name is Matthew, Matthew J. Matthew J? Matthew I'm J. I'm Robert J. Oppenheimer. Oh, nice to yeah. meet you. Um, so I've been working on something. Yeah. So this is, yeah. Tell me about it's, that. Call me crazy, and there's crazy. a chance it might blow up everything. But I'm really excited about it. But I don't want it to be used whatsoever. I'm just really excited. I have about plans it. that I cannot share, share with, with you, you right now because the haters will sabotage me. Literally. Literally. Um. So this is Madison. Uh. Everyone. Hey guys. I gotta, I gotta Can I get an applause sound? Ooh, yay, uh, Madison. That is so annoying when people ask for <laughs> sound effects. But yeah, I guess I'll do it. Um, good. Ooh, we have our first yay. woman on the podcast. Oh my gosh. You Woman's are rights. not the first person with curly hair on the podcast, though. That We've would be... Al- nope. You were about to say Alberto. And I, that, I was going to say two different people, and neither of those Who were Alberto. Who were you going to say? Breck. Oh, we've had Breck. And Shit. maybe Alex. Wait, we had Breck before... Oh, damn. We had both of them before oh, so Alberto. I'm just the biggest fan. And you and I didn't even know that. Did and we know. said, I think in that episode, I'm the, the viewer, first guys. With this is hair. the debut of the Damn. viewer. It is just me. I am the only viewer. You're the fourth person to have bad. Well, no, everyone has bad vision. Yeah, I have bad vision. Yeah. Today, I <laughs> opened up my contact case, and there was one contact in the left one, and not one in the right one. And I was like, Have I just been wearing one contact <laughs> for the like? for like when i went to bed so then i start like rubbing in my eyeball to try to get it out there's nothing there it was like caught in the lid of it oh. and i was like okay so i just abused my eyeball for nothing oh uh, yeah grody. wouldn't you love to have contacts no i'm so glad i have like better than 2020 vision well ah. last time i checked it was better than 2020 but i think it's gone down how is it better than 2020 isn't 2020 the max let me look because it's there's actually like another one um so like i think this is just you hyping yourself up no i'm not He's like i literally have vi- vision better than anybody shut up, shut up what is it called better than 2020 vision it's like 2015 or 1520 yeah 2015 which um you can see something 20 feet away that most people can see when they're 15 away, feet away and you have that yeah, I did the in anatomy class senior year. We did like the test, and like I stood, oh. I stood twenty feet away. Oh, so you could like go like read that and go farther than anybody else could. Yes, that's insane. Here, um, stay where you are. Oh fuck! <laughs> and do you know who my eye doctor is? We're gonna have to bleep this out. Just know the first name of the person. Topher. Topher's oh, dad. Is Topher's dad? Yeah. So yeah, I got Topher's... Topher's dad and then Emma's mom. Emma's mom. You have everyone as your. But it was so embarrassing, like going to see Topher's dad and being like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I can't tell you what letter that is. Because I'd be like, that's a O. And he'd be mm-hmm. like, mm, it's a Q. Oh, well, like, that's, a, that's a. I know, but still. It's like, yeah, you don't even need glasses at that I, point. I, exactly. All right, here. Um, all right, oh, just, God. Just go down, starting from the top. <sighs> like, what? No reaction. A D F H Z P. This was also, I was so afraid that I was going to like read a letter, like read the first one A and be like B. Wait, no, it's A. <laughs> I'm sure they don't understand. Because <laughs> it was like, I don't know, it's stressful. Okay. A D F H Z P T X U D Z A D N H P N T. Wait, that's an N. Fucking wow! Okay, is it an end? Well, it is an I'm pretty sure. Oh, right now, so. well, so I sh- you should be only. S- so. I sh- you should be only. Well, I mean, I can tell you should be only slightly now. better than me. I'm also realizing I'm pointing to you with my microphone. That's fine. It'll just make the audio <laughs> go like this. Yay! <laughs> um, P N P N T U M. I think that's an M. Looks like an X. Well, no, the next. No, one's an it's X. a U M X. T. T U M X is what I'm thinking. U-A-F-H-F-N-J. After that, no. F H F N J. Yeah, no. Sure. U A Z N F D T. Wow. Okay, but we don't even know how good that is because it's like three Google? feet away from us. Right. Exactly. Um. 
but yeah, there's uh that's what's going on in what we're talking about. Um, trains. I love trains. Oh yeah, Matthew. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew Madison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, we got just do only bad handshakes the whole time. Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to. Ah, never mind. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, all right, here. So, all right, this is something that I need a woman for, and thank okay. God we got a woman because it's really the only reason we had you on here is because we really just like, like legally just had to have one woman on. Right. Name um, one woman. One woman. I literally name can't name just one woman. You know the thing where it's like, do you can you name all fifty nine women? And it's like, oh fuck, I didn't know there were that many. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's classic. Um. Okay. This. Let me set it up for the. Uh, audio listener or for anyone who doesn't know. Star Wars Outlaws is a woke disaster. Do not buy. That is what is Star Wars video. Outlaws? Star Wars Outlaws is this new open world Star Wars game that's going to come out. Which means pretty cool. you're going to fly to different planets and on each planet is going to be a big map you can like travel around in. Whoa. Sounds awesome. And this guy says it's a woke disaster. Do not buy. Now this guy. So, okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You go. And then I'll go I'll go my side tangent. Yeah, I will, the man will speak first. Right. That's how this works. This guy only has 8,000 subscribers and 588 views on this video. So he really thinks he's the shit. Now, that's a lot of subscribers because we have 40, less than 45. Okay. However, I hate this video. In the big scheme of things, that's not that much. It it just came on my YouTube recommended and this guy has like no influence over anyone, but neither do we. So that's like, it evens out and I can (laughs) talk about how it annoying this stupid shit is real sorry go for it my question is what does woke mean in this sense because i think i've you ever like hear a word or a phrase and you like form an opinion of what it means and then you hear another person use it and you're like "Mm, that's not what i thought that meant oh yeah that's like me with woke and there have been a couple other things recently where i've been like is this not what everybody thinks this means like it'll be slightly off so woke is one of them where for me woke is like being on TikTok and knowing what's happening. But I know that that's not <laughs> what it is. So, like, if I make a TikTok reference and someone gets it, I'd be like, they're woke. But I know that's not what it is. That's just how I like to use it. You you think it's, like... Does that make sense? Just kind of aware? Aware like, and, like, chronically online okay, is a good yeah. way to put it. So you... uh, Damn it, there's a word for this. And I don't know what it is. In the know? Of pop I don't culture. Know. Pop culture, some kind might of. say. Yes. Yeah. But I... I take it to mean and i think everyone else takes it to mean is like awakened to like discrimination and like bad social norms something along those lines we can oh like pull up a definition. yeah give me a definition i always thought it was a word used by like people on the right to just dog on liberals pretty but much maybe that's just me i mean um okay this is what does woke mean in politics? See, um, also... <laughs> See, Robert DeSantis. You know what's <laughs> happening. Wow, woke is defined by the DeSantis administration as the belief there are systematic injustices in American society, and we need to address them. Okay. Go off, Ron, Ron DeSantis. This is why we love Ron DeSantis. This podcast is the number one pro-Ron <laughs> DeSantis podcast. No, that's not Click true. Click the link in the description to that's donate to true. Ron DeSantis' um, campaign. But yeah, just woke is the word that cons use See, to that's dunk not even... Lips. So I'm really off. That's not even what I thought it actually meant. I thought it was like, I don't know. You're just, well, like for me, it's a good thing because it's just like you're super accepting of everybody. But I feel like it was like, I like think, by people on the right, they're like, this is a bad thing. Yeah, I th- they think it's a bad thing. But also, I think they're the only ones who use it. I think anyone on the left does not use the word woke like yeah, at no. all. Unless they're talking about people using the word woke. Right. But isn't Ron DeSantis a big Republican? Oh, yeah. So why is it? Why is he defining he's it like, as something Good. good yeah he's like i don't know he's like oh there's things wrong with america nah that's that's nah we don't need to just <laughs> literally everything's fine but yeah and this is from 20 from up, january we need an urban dictionary urban dictionary yeah i mean i think that's actually what it means but i'm sure that there's I some really crazy context we're missing from that or yeah Ron DeSantis it's also from the that. washington post and i feel like those were all old people so woke urban dictionary oh my gosh speaking of old people you've seen that I don't know his name, where he just pauses and just like has a stroke on Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Yep. Just so like, funny. He's Have you seen giving a speech and he just oh goes, Well, he doesn't do that. He just stops talking. No, he, 
you, you, oh you can, well, there's you can, another. Yeah, it's he just he's he's doing speech and goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly kind of That's what he sounds funny. like, though. Because he's old. No, he but, is old, and he like has so much power, which is just insane. Also, the the Marjorie Taylor Green clip where they're like at some Senate hearing, and then oh my god, she's supposed to say I to vote for something, <gasps> and then she like just starts explaining why they should vote, and then someone just starts whispering, "Just say I, just say I." Just, and she's like, oh, sorry, I... Or, I have not seen just... that, but that sounds hilarious. You know what I saw a clip of the other day hmm. on another podcast that I watched? Oh my gosh, it was so funny. It's a clip of Melania Trump in, like, on a show That's or something. That's a girl boss. That's a Gulag podcast certified girl boss, Melania Trump. All right. Is. Your words, <laughs> not mine. But it was, like, her and Anderson Cooper was, like, talking to, like, her and then Trump and then, like, just all the Trump family. And he like has said hello to all of them. He's like asking her first question. So he's like, how do you feel like the economy or she like, it was a question towards her. And he was like, how do you feel like Trump would do in this role? Like what are good things he would do? Or what do you think he'd struggle with? And she just looks at Anderson Cooper and goes, hello. (laughs) And that's it. That's it. And he's just like, um, (laughs) <laughs> okay <laughs> and then the like brothers start talking That's hilarious. but she's just looking at him just like hello Liberal got owned. it's so funny it's such a funny clip oh epic owning dude real that's that's great see <laughs> what a girl boss <laughs> um she's she's gatekeeping talking oh yeah she's she like is. we're not gonna talk I, I don't even think i've heard her say a word since like 2016 it's so funny when this all right woke okay when this term became popularized the initial meaning of the term was the one we just read before um however as time passed you'll start using the term recklessly assigning it to themselves so when they know to boost their confidence as now the original meaning is slowly fading instead what is this can we get just a? oh i love the like urban dictionary example ones oh it's like Damn, bro! I didn't realize racism is such a major issue in our country. I am, I am a woke now. I'm a woke now. I can't believe this. How are there so many close-minded? How are they so close? I, I'm, I'm four years Search, old. Search try to read challenge. How are they so close-minded? Can they see just how toxic our society is? The solution is so simple, yet they refuse to change. I just don't understand. You should read it in the like TikTok oh, okay. AI girl voice. You got it. Fat phobic misogyny. What's wrong with preferring a thin woman? And she is morbidly obese, for God's sake. Why should I be attracted to her? Why should I lower myself while she refuses to get better herself? Mm, I can't It almost read. sounds like the Brian Jordan Alvarez. Oh, the... Hey, guy. Fat phobic misogyny? <laughs> what is wrong with prefer a thin, thin woman? Woman. And she morbidly, <laughs> morbidly obese, obese, for, for God's God sake. sake. <laughs> Why shouldn't I, I be, be attracted, attracted to, her? to her? Why shouldn't I, I lower myself? myself when she refused and to better herself? The the woke peoples <laughs> are a bunch of ridiculous hypocrite. Literally, and then you got to start singing a song. Oh yeah, man, I love that guy's character. We, I am... we can probably react to a couple of those. Oh my gosh, they're so good. But I don't know. This was nothing. There was only one sentence that woke in it. But yeah, all of this is just saying. Dang, maybe I'm like. Yeah, you're, I was you're really well. tripping with my. I wonder how many people. There's been times where I've used it like with a group of people where I'm like not super close enough to them where they haven't heard me use it before, but like I'm close enough with them to where when I use it and it's like obviously in the wrong context, they'll be like, okay, so what do you mean by that? Or like, mm, like what the fuck was, do you mean by was that? Was that the right. Wh- hmm? So maybe. I mean, that's maybe how I need I use, to stop using words I don't that's know. That's how what I they use based, which is, I guess, the opposite. I was like so late on the base train. Based Somebody said it in a so group chat, funny. and I was like, "What? What does that mean?" I'm just like, anything that is any sort of take at all, like that's based. Whenever it's, isn't it, it just like saying that's a take? No, well, that's what I use it as. Whereas I think based, oh, God, well, Jarvis both think based, Jarvis. but I think based is well, like show me um, ball, please. like the opposite of woke. Uh. Based slang term that originally meant to be addicted to crack. What? Addicted to crack cocaine. Or <laughs> was reclaimed by lap. Oh my god, I can't read. But was reclaimed by racker. Ra- you, 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 you read it. You read it. You read it. You read it. 
Based is a slang term that originally meant to be addicted to crack cocaine or acting like you were, but was reclaimed <laughs> when, a, when a word that has no importance is reclaimed <laughs> by rapper Lil B for <laughs> being yourself and not caring what others think of you to carry yourself with swagger. That do you ever like have to read something out loud? So like all you're doing is focusing on reading it and you're not like understanding what it means whatsoever all the time that's me so i cannot tell you what i just wrote oh i could um, so it's pretty much what i was saying although at the bottom it says base has been appropriated by the alt-right online <laughs> as a general term or phrase as if unwoke so yeah it's the opposite of woke and i use it as just i use it the same way you use woke. so this is your that's your woke that's, my that's woke. your ground and being yourself and not caring what other think of you carry yourself as well. so both based and woke seem good and yet everyone's like no that's why bad. do they feel the need to mention Lil B, because rapper Lil B reclaimed it. Well, I mean, I guess I can it's understand ground reclaiming ground. the word "based" if it means addicted to crack cocaine. Oh, I presume Lil. I wonder B if is anybody a... like was in a coma or something, woke up and then was just hearing all these people be like, "Oh, so based, based, based." Have you seen those? And they're just like, "Does no, everybody is crack, crack legalized now?" That's hilarious. Have you ever seen those things where it's like they just string together a bunch of like buzzwords and current slang into i think so it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't well like it makes sense but to anyone who listened to this like 10 years ago they're mm -hmm. like what the this is not it'd be words. like the like this would send a victorian child into a coma yeah that like trend but it's like the words just words that we use like oh man this bussy is so based <laughs> the way i was lit based. and bet on that ohio riz baby gronk riz is definitely one all, all, all that would those. be my show of Victorian Childless and they'd go into a coma is like Baby Gronk is a new risky <laughs> and he's with Liv now, but he left other girl. Those are good. <laughs> Baby Gronk Riz did famously Riz up Livy. We missed that from like a month ago. That's so sad. In that time, Baby Gronk Riz. I'm trying up to Libby. think of other things that have been in the past month. Like big events. Uh um, one of the Sprouse X? brothers got married. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's We're for this a boys demographic. Podcast, all right, we don't talk. <laughs> One about of the Sprouse brothers got shit. married. The pictures are, are so those pretty. The guys from Sweet Life on Deck. Yes, they are. Did you have you seen the movie? It's terrifying. I haven't even seen the show. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my. I didn't oh have cable god. when I was younger. You know this. this. That's terrifying. All I watched was Star Wars: The Clone Wars and Star Wars. You're so man. And The Incredibles. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I watched my entire childhood. And then I grew up, and then I watched all the things I want to watch. Oh my gosh! You ever your parents? Sweet ever, was so good. You ever like be talking to your dad, and he's like, "You haven't seen Heat," and I'm like, "I'm like 11. You would have shown me Heat." That's true. I I only say that because I just watched Heat with my dad. My dad after years he of does not do like, that. He knows that he know he knows that he has seen way more movies and shows than the average person. Oh yeah. So when he asks me if I've seen something, he's expecting the answer to be no. So if I say yes, it's like, oh my gosh, wait, really? You have seen that? Let's talk about it. So and then I'll be like, yeah, it was a while ago, so I don't remember anything, and I'll be like, all right. Yeah, your movie bye. memory is famously bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Tell me three facts about Kingsman. Kingsman had Colin Firth in it who's secretly gay in real life no <laughs> but Colin Firth Taron Egerton who also plays you can't give the... me the actors in it give me plot points bruh Kingsman. all right um Freebird guitar solo is playing and he kills all the people in this church because coolest scene something made him history. go silly goofy coolest scene in the scene history. um you cannot cannot find me on that what else happened the all the people who were training to be Lancelot were in a room and then there Dang, was you remember water everywhere. Huh. L. Mm, sorry. So, yeah. I basically have a That's great, pretty good. Memory. That's pretty good. Thank you so much. We did just watch Kingsman, though. Um, I remember any and every movie I've ever seen. I have a photo. Mm, I just can't speak. So we're trying to speak challenge? I have Can a we talk about Peacemaker is what I want to talk about. Dude, let's talk about Peacemaker, so, which I talked about famously on this podcast a while ago, if you guys remember. But if this one OG, just started watching this. All right. So, let me tell you. Earlier today, or yesterday, I told you I watched Peacemaker episode four. Right. That was a lie. I okay. lied to you. I actually watched all but the last 10 minutes of it. Oh. The last 10 minutes of Peacemaker episode four, wildly the most important 10 minutes of the whole show. What happened in the last 10 minutes? You find out. Spoiler alert. For, if you spoiler haven't seen alert, Peacemaker, it's big spoiler. over a year old. So you should, it no, doesn't matter. Not. Okay. Dude who, is, I don't know his name. Vigilante. No. He's hilarious. Dude who 
runs the whole we got to get the oh, butterflies operation. Yeah, yeah. Mi- I don't uh, know Mr. Murn. Name. Is that his name? It is Mr. Murn. I don't know. He's a butterfly. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like what was like, maybe I should probably watch the last 10 minutes. Like, yeah, I, I want to like finish it. So I watch it and then I like think the episode's done. And I'm like, there's just this one scene left. So I hop <laughs> on my phone and I'm looking at my phone. And then I'm like, hmm, it was weirdly quiet for like three minutes. Maybe I missed something important. I go back and it's like he's drinking out of the bowl. So you just like let the episode play while you're on your phone? I am so bad at doing that. And okay. That I is will, so disappointing. I'll go back and watch what I missed. And every time I'll get like annoyed with myself, which is why Hulu with ads is perfect. Because you watch 15 minutes, two minute ad. Go on your phone. Oh, watch 15 minutes. Two minute ad. Go on your phone. It's the Gen Z dream. <laughs> it literally is. But yeah, yeah. Ten I don't, out of I don't 10. have Hulu with ads, so I just kind of have to stomach my 22 minutes of TV and be like, oh, I can't get on my okay, phone. Okay, but listen, no. if it's like an hour, I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> there's if there's no stuff has happened. You are. That's what I'm saying. Not playing, I not need attention. I wonder if there's like YouTube videos of that where it's like. Always Sunny, season one, episode one. Half of it is Subway Surfers at the bottom. Nice. And then he's just like slowly coming out with more. (laughs) That's what I need. Probably that's that's you could probably make some money on YouTube of just like re uploading it. But like like the reaction style thing where it's like you just have the corner where it's you watching it. Oh yeah. It's just the corner of just like Or like Bluey. Bluey would hit so different. Some always sunny and bluey. I I swear you're seven. Bluey is so good. Oh my gosh. Bluey is actually actually all of their accents. It makes it makes me want to be a dog living in that family. You know, not in a weird furry way because I know that's what we're all. I think that's what you were trying to say. But that's not what I meant. But yeah, that was my peacemaker update. I wanted to tell you about that. No one ever talks about TV shows with me on this show. (laughs) Really nice to see someone do it because I always consume so much media and no one else does. We're both like uber media. Consumers. We're major cinephiles. That's like that's uh, what they're saying these what days. What they say at the beginning of the Jack Sparrow Let's recite. Video. Um, we come to this place. Oh, <laughs> the the prayer before every the prayer AMC before you. Movie. Whenever we said that AMC before movie. the Barbie movie, and the guy sitting next to us was dying. Laughing. That makes me so happy. It I didn't even awesome. see that he was. He I was heard like, Matthew laughing. He was sitting next to us, and he was like nudging his wife. He's like, they're, they're, they're reading it Listen along these things. It was so great. Oh my gosh. I, I, we watched so many damn movies. Of course we memorized it. Exactly. So, all right. We talked about Wilk. We talked about Bass. We talked about Peacemaker. This is true. What we are going to watch forever ago. Oh, that's right. The Star Wars Outlaws is a woke disaster. Do not buy. So, Star Wars <laughs> Outlaws. Star Wars game that's this coming out true. soon. Woke. We already know what it means. I think we have all the context we need for this video. <laughs> It'd be funny if I was like, let me, I need a disaster definition right here. <laughs> Jarvis, pull up the Jarvis, Jarvis, pull the up a disaster. disaster. All right, are you ready? This video. I think so, soon. but also, I feel like a majority of this is me going to be like, what's that video game thing? Because I famously know nothing about video games. <sighs> so, you this might have to do some why we don't mansplaining. Like women on the podcast, so. No, I'm kidding. We need the woman legally on the podcast. So. All right. Here for legal reasons <laughs> only. <laughs> here is, here's our episode. I mean, fucking. I'm just going to play it. Search Try to Speak Challenge. So Level something impossible. absolutely huge just happened. Star Wars Outlaws was announced. It's and a this solid is accent, a though. First of its kind, open world Star open Wars world. game. Open world? I so love this accent. So needless to say, I've people say are absolutely excited. But um... do not get your hopes up, because there is a lot of bad that we so are the game's out. seeing in these trailers. No, and he's yet. played it, no. So how does he know? Trailer. This is a trailer. Not, he's go- yeah, he's this going video is going to be oh like 99% gosh. negative. Because what I am seeing from what we currently have access to, this looks very bad. This looks like an absolute monumental disappointment in <laughs> Absolute monumental disappointment. Absolute ginormous red this is like watching. This is like when a, if a like movie is coming out and you're like excited about the movie and you watch the trailer and you're like, you know what? I was really excited about this movie, but the trailer was awful, so I'm not oh, gonna go yeah, see yeah. it. Which is like, that's not really. Nah. Dude, the trailer for this is so badass. Like, and he's mad about it. Dude, the trailer for this looks so. Sick. He thinks it's too liberal. It's he, he to work At least that's, that's what I hear. Does it like make Look an AOC reference? Is. That's Look really cool. Is. It's Star Wars. It's Tie Fighters. They're blowing. Good stuff. Go crazy. Good tie pilots and whatnot. You know. Is. How much you want to bet he hasn't seen every Star Wars movie? Mm, I wouldn't bet a lot. It's not hard to watch every Star Wars movie. I'm sorry. I'm with him here. Okay. Someone hasn't seen. You're just one I... away. You're one away. What is the one I haven't seen? Um, Solo. Solo. Yeah. 
Because you watched Star Wars The Clone Wars, the movie. This is true. So he is going to gatekeep a lot, and I am too. And I'm on his side because he's a man. So I'm I'm the target of this. You're the target is it because of, of what I'm wearing? Yes, it's because Gosh, of what you're wearing. And how dare you? <laughs> no, uh, this I. I actually hate this video so much. That's, by the way, probably Han Solo. Who else but would it be? <laughs> it's not, there's no way it's Han Solo. Okay, so first of all, they're already essentially announcing that there's going to be probably Wait, well, the sorry. end of the Empire, but this is going to be what? a bastard. He sounds like Gru. Probably very little <laughs> association with Jedis and whatnot. This is going to be like purely a syndicate based game. You know, all, all, all the huts and whatnot, that kind of experience. Okay. That was just not an opinion. <laughs> that was just a guess. Classic bot start. This is th this is our Good. main protagonist. Main protagonist. It's a woman. She has. So a... you like this? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a character yeah, because that would be not spotted by. Oh anyone. my god! And then he just goes on this little rant of. Oh no! Um, actually. Um, he's actually. Nitpicking at everything because I mean this whole video just because to he has nothing better to do. All right, so little cat just steals things from somebody. That's a cat. Oh, like Star Wars cat. Um. So essentially, we are introduced to a crafty character <laughs> he did who crafty likes air to quotes. take risks and play dangerously. Now the problem is, anyone with three brain cells would instantaneously okay. understand. He's just Wait really mad about the, the fact the cat walked like on the that, table to steal people's stuff. She's instantaneously gonna be caught. So this is I'm our really excited first to read the comments. problem. After this. this is made uh, by Ubisoft, okay? We're gonna talk about why this is a problem. Okay, so this is Edge Lords hate Ubisoft. They, there's a Canadian game company that makes... I mean, any game company makes bad games, so... They just... They all hate Ubisoft. I'm sure he's just... That's what he's ranting about here. That's um, a cute cat. I yeah, want but, that cat. But anyone with three brain cells would know she would get instantaneously caught. Alright, so then she runs away. And he's just watching the trailer. Not the first sequence, by the way. What? Not Travis, the first give me some sequence, subtitles. By the way. I think it's a not first sequence, by the way. I think he just tried to nitpick the fight scene. I don't know what he said there. And then, and then we have bounty hunters that are literally like uh, roughly 10 meters apart from her who can't land the shot, which means they have probably stormtrooper type of training. I don't know what that's supposed to say. I don't know what he's mad about. I don't it know all looks cool to me. It, Gun, it looks awesome. Blaster's going shoot. Fist it's, is going punch. Going punch. Punch. Star Wars is going run. Star Wars is, exactly. This is so cool, and he's just mad about every single. George part is of going it. Lucas. It's Literally. all great. And he's just like, ah. All right, this part he like is gonna. He's about to go off on the fact the woman punched somebody. From this trailer, we can easily tell what's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have long range combat, and from this magical flying punch right here. You're gonna have, uh, you know, close oh, yeah. range combat. And we have oh no choice, God. by the way, of our character currently. We're we are 100% gonna be playing We're as this woman right woman. here. So, yeah, it's gonna We're be very fun to going into else. close range Fuck. combat uh, with a lower scenario, 5-3 five, uh, five, woman. Oh, I see, so that's scenario, why he's, five, that's why he calls it a woman, woman. disaster. Yes. Because, because he has to be a woman. Have to be a woman. Twice our size. And because he's like, oh, the woman cannot fight the man. Oh my it's gosh. And that's like kind of like a up there. Um, I think... her. They take shots, and again, she's literally like right there. Literally. He's mad that they're not hitting her when she's the protagonist in a trailer. Why would they Yeah. Why would they kill her in the trailer? <laughs> in a movie trailer, the main person dies. Yeah. And also, he's mad when Star Wars... So people like this who, like, I know for a fact he definitely hates the sequel trilogy, which it's a hot take for me even, like, sequel trilogy. Right. But people like that, I know he's, like, a, an original trilogy, like, gatekeeper. He's like, that's the... Star Wars ended at Episode Six. There's no more, nothing else after Real. that. I I think is canon. But then, like famously, Dang, the that's Storm crazy. Troopers you can't have... just be like selectively canon. Oh, dude. sorry. Well, anyone who hates the sequel trilogy like is like that. Um, but I know he's like, but like Stormtrooper aim was a thing in those. That's like wh where it came from. Stormtroopers yeah. missing the people by a mile. Oh, true. So like that's just that's a been Star a thing Wars since trope. day one. Yeah, and he's just like, <laughs> oh, Star Wars they're, they're not hitting the main character. They're not killing the main character in the trailer. Good lord. I hate, I love Star Wars, and this guy's hating it, and I don't like it. 
This is like when you watch a movie and you're like, that's kind of unlikely, but I'm going to go with it anyways because it's a movie. Well, yeah. And I'm supposed to be enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. This is believable. I don't know what he was Completely random explosions because explosions are cool. Explosions are cool. I don't know what he's mad about. And also, by the way, yeah, because everyone likes Baby Yoda and everyone likes cute little companions. And what about it? They're, it's cute, so I can like it. It's like he's he's getting mad at them for like doing like what they're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. It's like that thing is cute, and does it make me want to watch more of it? <laughs> yes. Would I if mean, I yeah. saw a little stuffed animal version of it at Walmart, <laughs> would I buy it? Probably. I mean, yeah. She's probably not. She her backstory is probably gonna be like two sentences. Okay. <laughs> Why would they make a character with a backstory who's two sentences and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm such a badass character." Why would you want to not? Why would you want to watch something without a badass character? Literally, Star Wars is full. He of badass wants characters. a mid character. He wants a who lame can't character. Can't do anything. Who can't do anything? Can't punch. Gets their can't bike stolen make and explosions. gets killed in the trailer. Right. With no that companion. That would be his ideal. That is his ideal story. I think this. We should ban him from being able to buy the game or consume any Star Wars content for it's, that matter. This guy is just so upset. He has to play as a woman character wait until he finds out about uh metroid wait until he finds out about miss pac-man wait until he finds out about wait until he wants to get married yeah and wait until he wants to have sex maybe he's gay maybe he's just like a gay misogynist but then it's like i'd say most gays are allies for the women's so it's like you he's just think, he's just against everybody at this point guys like if him, he thinks this is woke he's definitely not <laughs> you know but you would think that guys who hate like women in any way would just be gay you know right just cut cut the cut the woman out of it just two dudes banging <laughs> what's more manly than that what's more manly than two that? two dudes plowing out i mean i don't know maybe he does like dudes that much that he's just like well i mean we don't have to watch this whole thing it's just it looks like a really cool trailer complaining it looks awesome he's just this is him just like i think going through the games ubisoft has made that like have sucked let's look at oh well we're gonna look, we at. look at comments but oh yeah, yeah. We, can, we can go back i mean i hope everyone is i mean it had 25 likes and one dislike oh it probably has seven comments then. it has 21 wow it has almost as many comments as um it does likes I won't be playing this unless character changes or trust. I agree. I am a male and I'm not one to play female characters, so won't be buying this one. They have to put both genders in if they were wanted to sell. That's insane. How? Okay. There Brothers are so many of... video games where you have to play a dude. So is he saying he's not going to play any dude video games until there's a girl option too? <laughs> yeah, until you what can put heck? both genders. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What he's an like, ally. I will not play The Last of Us unless there's a girl that I can play. You can play Last of Us too. Actually, I think I don't know if you can play as I don't know who you play as in the first. I one. thought you, you play, play Joel Pedro one. Pascal. Well, his name is Joel. His name is Pedro no, Pascal. Kidding. I think you play as Pedro Pascal in the first one, and I think in the second one you play as the girl Ellie. Oh, that's cool. I think. Um, he probably stopped playing after the first one. Also, if, I don't know if you know anything about the second one, but it is don't. I'm not going to spoil. Don't anything, spoil. But because I went to watch the show. And yeah. Be if this, if season two of the show is like the game. You're going to be very surprised. Also, very roll soon. it back to what um, we were talking about earlier about The Last of Us intro being oh, so cool. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree with that. Um, Last of Us intro goes crazy. That's one of those where The Crown has a similar intro where it's like that same like 3D animation, but it's just like making the like crown of the yeah, queen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, can't those, do it with AI. Those go so hard. And no, you cannot. So. Yeah, the Last of Us intro rocks. That's one. I mean, I skipped it because it was super long, but like it was so satisfying to watch it the first time. It was You're like, awesome. where's it going? Yeah, it was so cool. But no, Love. yeah, we should do the AI generated ones. Nah. And we shouldn't have female nah. characters. But we like, shouldn't pay people either. These the female characters like Overwatch, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege. There are so many games where this like where female characters like you want to play them because they're better. Well, I don't know about Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. All the characters are the same. That's cool. But like Overwatch or Rainbow Six Siege, it's like, depending on what you want your character to do, a female character might be a more fun character to play because mm -hmm. their ability is cooler. That's so cool. So like, I mean, there's so many games where like, there are female characters and then they're like, nope, this one, 
wrong. Nah, can't have it. It's, Maybe they're like Star Wars also, is a dude thing. They don't realize Princess Leia was like the the girl boss of and four, I mean Ray. Come on. Now. Well, these are people who don't like Ray. These are people who don't. Well, I mean, yeah, these are definitely people who don't like Ray at all. Who are like, it's a woman. That sucks. Come on, guys. I think Let's in get over this it. video, this guy is like, look, I can get you kind of a woman character. But and then he's like, this is how you should do a woman character. And I think it's like oh a my bad gosh. explanation. That's like, this is kind of related. But did you ever see that like thing I sent you about the like test that's for movies to see if it has like a scene where it's just two women talking to each oh, other yeah, about yeah. nothing related to a man? Yeah. And like majority of movies do not pass it. Yeah. I think about that all the time. I think about that whenever I watch a movie now. Kingsman did not pass that. <laughs> yeah, I think there were three female characters, um, yeah. four female characters in Kingsman. And then one of them dies. And Spoiler. Two of, super early. Two of them die. Real. I mean, one of them, it's fake. It's Kingsman. It's like five years old. Real. Um. So yeah, that's a, that's a little thing I've been wanting to react to the podcast. It is... Um, I, as Matthew, thought that was so funny. Oh, thank you, Matthew, yeah. for your take. You're so welcome. Um, this has been Matthew, everyone. I think, I mean, that's probably our time. It's just, it's just Matthew. It's me, Matthew. Um, like I said before, uh, this was, of course, Madison. Everyone, big round of applause for Madison. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you for coming on. We love having a, a guest, and it's nice to have a guest for the. You, this is lucky. You're you're at the end of the end of this an era. This is my debut. At, Your debut. The, yeah, end at of an the era. end of the Glug Podcasts baby era, and now we're gonna grow up Real. and into a big butterfly with episode forty one coming out. What soon? I mean, this Crazy. is episode technically 40 but it's season four episode 10 and now it's over and now we move on to bigger better things anything you want to plug hmm i think you should all watch britney brosey's podcast oh it... we're gonna cut that out we're not plugging any any other cut podcasts. no no nope. no it's already cut please nope. it's already cut. i think you guys what if i indirectly plug it and don't say the name of it i we can leave it in i don't care oh let's go you guys should go watch Britney Brosey's podcast because it's so good. We're never having you on again. I can't believe you're plugging a different <laughs> podcast. Okay, you guys, should watch our podcast. You should, you should watch all of the Gulag first. But when you're done with that and you're like, I want another Gulag episode to come out. Then you wait. What am I going to do? Then you can watch Britney Brosey's podcast. Then you can watch all of but, our YouTube videos. Yeah. After you've seen every bit of Gulag content there is, liked every Instagram post, then go watch and Britney Brosey's podcast. Twitter post. Every single thing. And every TikTok been, post. Right. At the Gulag YouTube. On all the separate accounts you have. Yes. So if you have two email addresses, you better you have, have two likes. three email addresses. If you got four, you got four. If you got four, you better fo. subscribe. Real. But, I mean. And only when you have done and watched all, every single little piece of all of our content, then you can watch someone else's. This is true. And, you know what? This is just another, this is my current hyperfixation, is Brittany Brosky's podcast. So. Maybe the next time I'm on, I'll be like, nah, I don't care. But right now, it's everything. Yeah. It's it's fantastic. But it's not the good look podcast. She's so literally me. She's so literally relevant. me. It's relevant. You know, maybe when you guys have more women on here, I'll start watching more. But Brittany Broski's, it's just a woman every single time. <sighs> it's a safe space. There's no safe space. I will not be watching it until she gives an option of a man to watch. <laughs> And there's just like it's actually like that what, Black like Mirror movie where at the beginning you can like choose. Oh yeah, where it's until gonna go. she gives an option of a man to use. She talks about men on the podcast, mm. unless she is having a conversation with another woman with something to do other than men. Nah. I won't be watching. Well, it's always just her. So unless find that. I don't know. I was just trying to think of more jokes. I bit over. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye.